Hello and welcome to Giraffin' with Todd, and I'm Todd. I thought I'd have some fun with another reaction video of Symphonic Metal. Now, yesterday I did a video for uh, the group Epica, and I was talking a little bit about Epica and saying that there was a guitarist vocalist by the name of Mark Jansen who left the group after forever in 2002 to create the group Epica. You wanted to go into a little bit different direction than what After Forever was going. Now, Mark and several other uh, members created the group After Forever in 1995. Now, in 1997, they brought on a female vocalist. So I just learned about this. Now, I have the second and third After Forever albums on compact disc. Uh, the, the, se the second album was called The Cypher. It came out in 2001, and that was about the time period I was starting to buy a lot of symphonic metal. Whatever I could find, I would buy. At the time, I loved the vocalist. She was just incredible, and I really didn't know who she was. You know, I was more into listening to the music than learning about the band. And um, when I was looking at After Forever about the, their history from doing the Epica video yesterday, I found something out. And I'm sure you all know where I'm going with this. It had the vocalist that is the current vocalist to Nightwish. Yes, Flora Jansen was the vocalist that joined After Forever in 1997. And she was phenomenal way back then. Now, there's no relationship between Mark Jansen and um, Floor Jansen. They're, they're not related at all. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to go back to um, a song from the Decipher album, which is the second album put out by After Forever. And also, it the song is going to was, was a single as well. And it's called Monolith of Doubt. So I thought it'd be fun to, to watch this video. Now, this is a, a live from what I read on the video, it's a live for TV performance. So I'm, I'm hoping that it's it's great. I've not seen this before, but um, I'm, I always love symphonic metal. I, I love listening to the female vocalists and how they uh, perform their music. So here is After Forever with Flora Jansen. And I'm not sure if Mark Jansen is on this video because this is 2002 and he left in 2002. So I'm not sure if he's on this one. So it's Monolith of Doubt. Her voice is just dynamite. And like I said, I, I remember buying uh, the second and the third um, album by After Forever and just was like in wow, like I am now, of the female vocalist. She just had such a great voice. And like I said, not realizing back then who she is today. And it's just unbelievable. That's why I had to go back and, and do one of these videos. She is just phenomenal. The group is great. And I see they got a great uh, string section in here too. So not only is it uh, the band, but they have a string section to give it that more classical feel. Just really, really good stuff. Just really, really good stuff. Let's go back and get this going again. <laughs>
Wow. Wow. Was that incredible? Did she hold that one note? Oh my gosh. She just held that note like it was forever. Well, after forever, right? Wow. That was incredible. Now, I'm thinking, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking the person on the left of her with the really long hair and the guitar, I think that might be Mark Jansen. He might actually be on stage here. I, I, they didn't really do a good close-up uh, to, to be able to see his face, but I think he's there. They must have had a choir, too. It sounded like there was a choir uh, singing along with her. They didn't show that, but they did show um, the strings, which just added so much to to the song. I just love the symphonic metal when they add those strings. Uh, and, and, and those strings are live. I mean, that, that's what's, what's so incredible, that those strings are live. This was really, really good. Like I said, um, I bought a lot of symphonic metal in the early 2000s, late 1990s, early 2000s. And, you know, all these groups, they all came out of, of uh, the Netherlands and Holland. I mean, it's just un unbelievable, um, you know, that, that, that there, there's so much music came out of that one country it was just just and it was this this whole style of music which is just re really really great just really really great just loved it so um I, I i would say that this performance by um floor was was really outstanding and you could see where she took this style and her her singing style and moved it in into nightwish and and is making Nightwish what they are today. Just really phenomenal. So what I want to do is just go back and, and hit that where she hit that one high note. I mean, that was incredible. Let's see if I can, I think it's right there. It's me. Okay, incredible, incredible. I just had to play that again. That was that was incredible. I love this. This was excellent. Um, uh, it, uh, it the 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 video is cool. Um, you know, they showed a lot of floor, a lot of weird angles too, and then they were showing it off the video monitors and stuff. So it was kind of a cool video that they put together. And they said this was, I guess, for a TV show. Um, I, I'm not sure, and I'm not sure what live act. I, and I don't know if I can pronounce that right, so I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. But this is great. Loved it. I hope you loved it. If you did love it, hit that like button. If you have any comments about After Forever doing the song Monolith of Doubt or the album Decipher, put it in the comments below. That would be really, really cool. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. If you've been watching my channel, I'd really appreciate it. If you subscribe, that would be really cool. And then go over there, ring the bell to get updates to my latest videos. Big smile. This was a big smile video. I loved it. I hope you loved it. I hope it put a big smile on your face. And peace out, baby.